Hello Saints, welcome to another daily prayer and I'm so glad that you could be with me today and uh, and we are looking forward to getting together, praying uh, together and just, just ascending up to the Lord in prayer by the Holy Spirit and um, if you're listening to this is a brand new week now and as a matter of fact today is what uh, the world likes to celebrate as Halloween which is Satan's holiday and that is not a day as a Christian that we celebrate we do not give any celebration nor glory nor anything to the devil we don't render our our members we don't we don't have any thing to do with evil and that is what halloween is so i just hope that encourages you if you're thinking as a christian you know you have a choice it's up to you whether you want to celebrate it or not but just know this that it is uh it is a high ta- it's a high time in satan's world okay so amen but anyway but welcome this is a brand new week and i want you to go ahead and get your bibles out and i'm so glad that you joined me And we're going to turn over to Colossians 3. We're going to pray together. But before we do that, we want to read some scripture out of the word of God. And the word says, if you then, if ye then be, be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Now that as a Christian is is where we live we are constantly as we're here on this earth we're seeking those things above why it says it it says uh because because we are seated in christ and uh, christ is sitting on the right hand of god so as children of god as we're here on the earth we are also seated above in christ Amen. So, uh, and just let's, let's go on and it'll be, become a little bit clearer. It says, set your affection on things above, not things on the earth for you are dead and your life is hit with Christ and God. Now, wait a minute. Now <coughs> at the time, Paul, the author the author of Colossians is speaking to people on the earth. This was written while he was alive. So he is, so he says that you are dead. Well, what does that really mean? That means that when you give your life to Christ, you've given your life to him. And now you are about to, you are now about to be born again. So that old man that old man is is gone and you are actually seated in Christ right you are seated in Christ and that what was old is is done away with and now the new man the new you is now in the in the heavens and now you're on the earth so that's what happens after you get baptized you are you are actually uh, rehearsing death you are being baptized in the water and you're coming out of the water which represents a brand new life and in this new life you're you are seated in Christ but yet you're here on the earth so it says when Christ and then it says for you are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God that's where you live at now in Jesus Christ <coughs> And then it says, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Amen. So because you're seated in Christ, when he makes his appearance, because Jesus is going to return back. And we know that it will be soon because we're seeing many. We're seeing a lot of evidence that Jesus told us that we would see, which would uh, denote the his soon return so he is coming back and and so it says that when christ who is your life shall appear then shall you also appear uh with him in glory amen amen and let me just read verse five it says mortify which means to kill to put to death therefore your members which are upon the earth fornication uncleanness 
Does that sound familiar? I don't think I needed to define that. Inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetous, which is idolatry. So you want to put yourself in Jesus. You want everything that the kingdom has to offer offer and that's why he says to set your affections on things above right these are supernatural things these are things that can't that that aren't found on the earth you can't manufacture it on the earth it's only available in heaven so we as christians have access to supernatural all kind of things you, you just you name it you know as long as it's within God's scope of, of man and it, it is it is available for us and and in heaven God has it available for us do you need knowledge God has supernatural knowledge do you need wisdom do you need wealth he has supernatural wealth supernatural wisdom do you need what what just think of it what do you need as a Christian God's got it and all you have to do is set your just just reach out to God reach out to him in prayer and that's what we're going to do and we're going to claim those things that we need from God amen hallelujah so let's let's just go together in prayer father we just invite you here right now we ask you spirit of God that you would just come you said where there are two or more gathered in your name Jesus you said that you would be in the midst of us so we welcome you here sweet Jesus we welcome your presence here Lord and we glorify your precious name, Jesus. And we yield our members, we yield our body, we yield everything to you, sweet Jesus. And we give all the glory and the praise and the honor to you. Blessed is your name. Glory to God. Come on, saints, cry out to him. Come on, come on. Just welcome the Lord. Welcome and worship him. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for everything you, that you've done for us. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us another day. We thank you, Father, for your goodness and mercy upon us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you will not withhold any good thing from those that walk upright, Lord God. I thank you, Lord. We thank you for your precious word today, Father. Lord God, we ask you, Lord, for supernatural things that we need today, Lord. We need knowledge. We need wisdom, Lord. We need, Lord God, we need wealth in abundance. We need provision, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Lord God in heaven, I'm asking in the name of your precious son, Jesus Christ, that you will begin to provide for us. Lord, where, where, my, where we may need gas, Lord, we need protection, our families, our children. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, give us protection on our jobs today, Lord. Everyone who's listening to me under the sound of our voice of my voice lord lord give them protection today in the name of jesus father god we're asking for your presence today lord we welcome and glorify you lord god and we thank you because you are a good father and you gave your only begotten son you loved us so much when we were not even worth the time of day lord god you loved us father so much that you gave your only precious son jesus and jesus you look beyond the cross and, and lord you looked and you saw us and you were well pleased and you laid down your life jesus you took the the pain you took the stripes thank you Jesus so that we could have life and be reconciled back unto God the Father and I want to give glory and honor to you Jesus for that Lord Spirit of God I just ask you right now that you would touch those that are listening to me under the sound of my voice that you would lord god that you would permeate the atmosphere lord god that you would give them the peace that they need lord god lord that you would open up the windows of heaven father over them today lord that you would give speak to them lord god minister to them even as they're they're going throughout the day lord god lord i think minister to the children minister to the spouse thank you father in the name of jesus to the parents lord i give glory and honor 
Lord. Give them the wisdom they need to pass those college classes. Lord God, give them strength, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. If things not, are not going right, Lord God, give them the strength, Lord. Lord, give them joy for the spirit of heaviness, Lord God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to thank you, Father. You are so wonderful, God. You are blessed forever forever and forever God you are forever hallelujah hallelujah Jesus you are forever you are forever and ever and ever and I give praise and glory unto you Jesus thank you son of God thank you master for what you've done for us your name is lifted up Lord God your train fills the temple father come on saints come on you can do it. Rapa Torobo Korame Henebe Ke Henebe Shete Rebe Kurama Haraba Sana Rebe Terebe Ke Nerebe Sheno Robo Korama Sa Rabate Rabo Soto. Holy Spirit, we worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. And we welcome you, Spirit of God. We welcome you here right now, Holy Spirit. All the glory and the honor. And the majesty, Father God, it belongs to you. You are worthy of all the praise that we can give. And we praise you, Jehovah. We praise you. We praise you, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God and Father of our Lord and, Sir, and Savior, Jesus. We, You are our Savior, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus, you are the only begotten Son of the living God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Robo Taraba ke henebe terabo korama shed dorama kalama san narabo korama yerabo so ramaha repe terebe karamir horama harabe se terebeke repe terobo korama shatarabo korama sarame terebeke. Lord, we pray for our country today, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you are in the midst of these elections, Father. We ask you for righteousness in the land, in the offices, in the land, righteous leaders, Lord, install righteous leaders who love you, Jesus, who love your word, who love you, Lord God, in Jesus' name, and will walk in righteousness, Father, in the name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Terabaha Roboto Koraba Rama Sheterebe Kehene Roboto Raba Kanaba Sendere de Herebe Terebeke Roboto Raba Sana Rabeti Rabo Kuramata Roboto Robo Kuramasa Tarabo Kuramate Rebete K. Come on, saints, you speak in your heavenly language Roboto Raba Karabashe Narabo Kurama Rabo Soto Roboto Rebe Kehe Nabo Robo Soto Robo Raba Kahan. Nabate robo soto raba karebe teraba ha rota ta karebe te ramo sana ba kana ramo roma sene rebe kehe ropa terebe kehe na rabo teraba ka. Thank you, Lord, for the fire of God upon us today, Lord. From your throne room, we give praise and glory unto you, Lord Jesus. E terebe ke robo teraba kana rara rama. Come on and praise your Lord. Reach out for him. Reach out for Jesus. Grab the hem of his garment today. He's your faithful high priest and Lord and master. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All glory. All praise, Holy Spirit, belongs to you. Lord, fill everyone under the sound of my voice with your Holy Spirit. Give them a fresh a refreshment today, Father. In the Holy Ghost, I give praise and glory unto you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful saints. Thank you so much. What a wonderful prayer time we had today. And I'm so grateful for the presence of the Lord that is here with us right now. Oh, it makes it hard to just depart and, and leave and we give glory to God. But the Lord said he will never leave you nor forsake you. And if you are joining with us today and you don't know that this Lord Jesus that we're talking about, well, it, congratulations. Today is your day. You're going to get to know him. And I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear God, I come to you as a sinner and I need to be saved I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior so I ask you God to forgive me for all my sins I believe that Jesus was crucified on a cross I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord he has been resurrected from the dead and is now seated at the right hand of God thank you God I am now saved Amen, amen, amen. And Father, I just ask that you would fill those who've just received you as Lord and Savior, that you would fill them with the Holy Ghost today, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, that you would fill them today. Amen. Now, saints, I want to tell you something. The next thing you need to do is to find a fellowship of believers, a church. Ask God to lead you. He'll lead you right to the congregation that you need to be in. And God will be faithful to you there. You be faithful to God. He will be faithful to you. Amen. God's faithful to us even when we're not faithful. Amen. But just be faithful, okay? Just go that extra mile for God. Uh, he's done so much for us. Just go that extra mile. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you to go 110% for God. All right, my dear ones. All right, you have a wonderful day and uh, and uh, we will join each other tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.